Hi guys, I hope you're hanging in there. It's Nicole from Autism Angles. I figured with Easter coming up this week and spring break starting that you could use some activities for the festivities. So I have two stories that I'm going to read today and I'll do them in separate videos. One will be for younger kids and one will be for older and you might want your kid to watch both or your kid might want to watch both themselves and that's awesome. I am also going to provide you with a download format that you can do an activity with your kids or if your siblings want to do them together and I will show you what those are. So I have a word search that I've created for the younger kids that's easier for them and you can help them recognize letters and then the older kids have a bigger one that's a little bit harder. I will also provide you with an answer key. So those will be added in on Facebook, in comments, posts, Twitter, and the, the YouTube, I will try to put them on there. And if you need anything, you can also email me at Nicole at AutismAngles.com. I'm going to read my first story. Please join. The Great Easter Race with Elmo. Eggs. It was a bright Easter morning on Sesame Street, and out in the park, friends were starting to meet. There were beautiful colors and flags waving free. Something special was happening, but what could it be? A race, shouted Big Bird, come one and all, the young and the old, the short and the tall. Let's stretch out our legs and tie up our shoes. Get ready, get set, there's nothing to lose. The park's woodland creatures, they all heard the yell, and a little green turtle popped up of his shell. May we join the race? They asked all together. Of course, Big Bird said, more makes it better. They stood at the line, they were ready to race, but who in the group would be winning first place? Would the quick little rabbit win the big prize? Keep an eye on that bunny, you'll get a surprise. Ready, set, Go! And so it began. Off like a comet, the quick bunny ran. The racers gave chase, the crowd gave a cheer, and the slow little turtle, he brought up the rear. Around the first bend and under a tree, the monster saw something that filled him with glee. A basket of cookies! We think they are for me. We think we should have one, or maybe have three. Yum. A basket again, this time filled with duckies. Was it left there for Ernie, or was he just lucky? The turtle crawled past, just keeping his pace, so instead he said, will win me this race. Way up ahead and just off the path, Bert spotted some pigeons. They were having a bath. He stopped there to greet them. Then he noticed the treats. There were eggs by his head. There were eggs by his feet. Leading the race, Big Bird had to wonder what happened to Bunny faster than thunder, but then up ahead, he caught sight of a nest, and he thought to himself, why not have a rest? With Big Bird asleep, the Count spied his chance, while Zoe had stopped to make time for a dance. She crawled by a maypole with ribbons galore. With some help from her friends, she made a dance floor. There was just one more hill and a few turns to go. The Count started smiling, he would put on a show. The crowd cheered and whistled, their excitement it mounted, but then Count saw a castle, and eggs to be counted. On went the race as the finish grew nearer, but Grover was stopped by a bright, shiny mirror. He twisted and turned, he stared and he gaped, looked at the hero with his helmet and cape. Elmo took first with a spurt of full speed, but a shiny toy truck cost him the lead. The turtle crawled on and broke through the line. With no one in sight, it was his turn to shine. Turtle's the winner, Big Bird crawled with a bellow, and Count led a course of jolly good fellow. And as for the bunny, he crossed the line last, but he gave a sly wink of his eyes as he passed. For back at the park was a wonderful scene of lollipops, chocolates, and pink jelly beans. A big celebration of colorful treats, a gift from the bunny from Sesame Street. 
happy and look at all those eggs and chocolate. What fun. So now, thank you for reading the Great Easter Race with me. And if you are interested, please have the word search printed out. And I will also have other activities that you guys can do with your kids this week. Have a great day and check in soon. Thank you.